hello and welcome back to the GeForce IT Service Academy. This is the lesson three of our school management system development training. In our previous lesson, we look at how to develop the about page of our school management system. And in this lesson, we are going to learn how to set up the student details table in Microsoft Excel without wasting much time. So please, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for all like and share this video with your friends also drop your comment in the comment section in case you face any challenge in the process of developing or setting up your school management system you can drop your comment in the comment section below of this video and we are ever ready to attend to you so without wasting much time let's quickly open our folder like this and let's do some necessary editing the staffs here before we move to the main lesson so you tap here let's go to the home tab then let's give it a white color we want to hide the cells there so you tap here like this Control shift the right arrow key like this then the down arrow key so let's give it a white color so you go to the home tab and we give it a white color like this now let's come to this side the down here let's select all then control shift the down arrow key then we give that one to a white background color now let's come to let's come to the home sorry let's come to the about page here then let's tap on this particular section here let's come to the format here then let's give it an outline so let's give it a shape outline so let's give it an orange shape outline so we have this nice system here so we have the about page now up and running so now control s to save your work please always remember to save your work don't forget to save your work okay so now let's come to the down here in today's lesson as i said earlier we are going to learn how to set up the student details table so you tap on the plus sign at the down here then let's double tap to rename this one so students details table or students details so like that then you press enter now let's right click and go to the color tab so which color are we going to give to this particular table so we give it that table now we need some details in the school management system so that the system can run effectively we need to take some details from our students so the first one that we are going to enter into the table here the first details that we need from the student is the admission number so let's try to short it so ADM ADM number like this then the next thing that we are going to take is the name the name of our student then the class the class of our students then the date of birth so DOB date of birth of our student then the date of admission so DOA date of admission so DOA then admission fee so ADM fee like this then we have the guardian name we need to take the guardian name of our learner the guardian name of our student so guardian name like this then we also need the address of the guardian address so we have it here like this so we have the address there like this then the last thing that we are going to take is the contact we need the contact of the guardian of this particular student so let's try to extend this cells a little bit so the class we extend it sorry the name we extend the name please make sure that you have enough space for the name so let's extend it once again then the class we extend it the date of birth so we extend that one to 
then the date of admission we extend it then admission fee we extend that one to the guardian name we need to extend that one too then the next one is the address it can be email address or whatever so let's try to extend that one up to that standard so we have this one here then the contact let's try to extend this one to contact so we have them here now let's select all of them let's try to select all of them and format them let's give them a nice background color so let's change the font style before we give them a background color so the font style is supposed to be times new roman then the background color is supposed to be something blue like this and then the test color let's try to change the test color to white like this then we increase the font size a little bit so we have them up and running here now let's center them let's center them good so we have this here up and running without any stress and without any problem now we need to do another thing we need to do another thing here we have to extend this one so that we can get a space for our button we are going to add some button that can help us to go back to the home page of our school management system so when we are doing that we need to provide a space for that button as well so let's try to highlight all of this here like this then let's come to the home tab we move to the home tab then we bring them down like this good now that we are done with this let's try to select all this and give it all bodies so how many students do we have in our school so let's take it like we have uh, 500 students in the school uh, that is why we are creating this database system we are creating the database system for 500 students in our school so let's scroll to the top then let's come to the home tab here and let's try to change the the font style of this particular table so we go back again are we going to give it bold or we leave it like that so let's try to do the formatting here let's begin to do this one to let's center everything here so now let's come to all bodies here so let's let's select all bodies good so we have a nice students details table like this so we need to give this particular table a background color so which background color are we going to give to this particular table so let's go to the home tab once again then let's select a background color for this particular table so let's select this color and see is this color going to help us it's not bad but let's try to add a different color so let's scroll to the last end please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members as we continue with this lesson so i think we should give it some color like this good this color is nice this color is nice so let's go to the home tab once again and let's give it bold bold like this then let's center everything please make sure that you center everything now let's control s to save our work control s to save our work so the next thing that we are going to do is to add our home button we should have our home button here the button that can help us to go back to the home page of this particular school management system so let's quickly go to the insect tab here then select shape so we select this particular shape and use it for that button okay so let's drag this one here nicely like this so we right click and edit test let's right click and edit the test so we name it home 
so that is going to be our home button the button that can help us to navigate back to the home page so let's come to the home tab here then we change the font style let's change the font style to times new roman then you hit enter on your keyboard let's give it bold then let's try to increase the font size let's adjust everything let's center this button here let's center the text on the button here sorry let's center the text on the button here now let's come to format then let's come to shape effect so we select this particular one here is that color going to help us let's check it and see so i think that color is cool so you can use the down arrow key or you can use the arrow keys any of the arrow keys to position your button well on the table so we have the home button there up and running now we are going to add another button that will help us to add details to the student detail sheet we are going to add another button that can help us to submit or add details to the students data table so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this one and paste so control c control v so you only drag this one to this side then you right click to edit the test on this particular button right click to edit the test so you right click on it like this then you edit test so let's clear the home there and replace it with add so let's replace the home with add so we have it there now let's click on it and let's come to format here so let's go to shape fill and let's give it green good so we have our add button to the app and running without facing any challenge now without adding hyperlinks there is no way these buttons can work so let's right click on this button here then let's click on hyperlink then where do we want this button to take us to so make sure that you click on this one place in this document we want this button to take us back to the home page of our school management system so we click on home then we click on ok so immediately we click on this button here it should be able to take us back to the home page of this particular system so that is that so now let's go back to the students data table once again now after designing this after getting all this we need to hide these cells and these columns here so you press ctrl shift then you use the right arrow key then you use the down arrow key as well then we come to the home tab here and let's give it a white background let's give it a white background we just want to hide those things there so that our form will be in the nicest shape so let's try to format some things inside the table here let's try to do some formatting inside the table here Oh, let's undo this action okay so let's let's select all once again let's select all this and give them a background color let's just select and give them a background color so it's supposed to have a background color like this here so let's try to change uh let's try to change the font style here so times new roman then we change the test color to white here i think we are good to go then let's increase the the test color a little bit like this so i think the form is having a nice shape now now let's try to give all this the same color let's try to give this one to the same color that we gave 
to this part so let's scroll to the 500 section so we have it here like this then let's give it a background color a background color like this then we give it all bodies so all bodies good we have our form here now so it's having a nice shape now let's come to this side so let's control shift the right arrow key the down arrow key then we come to the home tab again to give it a white background color good so we have this nice form here now let's come to the down as well let's come to the down as well and see if we can do some changes there okay so let's maintain that one so this is the student detail sheet so let's drag this button to the last end here we drag this one to to the last end let's make sure that they all have the same background color so you drag this one to the last end oh shit okay so you drag this one like this to the last end and let's give them all the same background color So let's go to the home tab and select the color that can match with all of this that we have done so let's select this color for all good so we have our form up and running here so thank you very much for watching this video let's meet in our next lesson in our next lesson we are going to learn how to design the teachers details table in our next lesson that will be lesson four we are going to learn how to design the teacher's details table so don't forget to save your work Control s to save your work and don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to share this video with your friends and family members don't forget to like share drop comment in the comment section below of this video so thank you very much let's meet in our next lesson bye bye